Hey guys, today we're going to do some more work on the lawnmower here. I'm going to show you how to put new uh, wheel bearings on, or wheel bushings, actually what they're called. This is uh, what they look like. Pretty much just a piece of plastic all they are. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this off. We're going to put new bushings in the front axle assembly here. Just like that. And these are hex shaped. These cost like a 89 cents a piece or something like that. And the same for these. So they don't cost much to do this. Uh, okay, let's okay, get started. First thing you're going to do, we got to pop this clip off. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of the mowers have this set up. I'm not for sure. Okay. Oop. Didn't mean to hit you there, guys. And also note in the process of getting this clip off, which this, is, by the way, is not the same one because I lost the first one. Be careful because you can bust your knuckles. And if it pops off, it can hit you in the eye, so you ought to wear safety glasses when you're doing this. Just a little word of advice. Okay, the next step you need to do, you need to pull this whole axle assembly out. Just wiggle it and pull down at the same time. Okay, now it's out. It's a good time to inspect this. By the way, the camera might be a little blurry because I can't get it in focus. You got a washer here, it goes on top. And these bushings, I need to get something to knock them out with. But here's the top one. The bottom one is the same. I need something to knock it out with. Hammer would be better. Might be a good time to clean all the grass out of here. Uh, okay, now that all the old stuff's out, now it's time to start putting the new stuff in. If they hold their, hold their own, that's good. Okay, you can see that. Now, next thing you want is just some grease. No matter what type, grease is grease. So, this is the messy part. Uh, put all this one here. The shaft here. Load these up. You don't need this much. Uh, always use more than enough. Just use it sparingly. And keep a rag handy, that way you can wipe your fingers off. Now, I had the tie rod caught on the jack stand. That's why it was being so hard to get in there. Now it's going no problem at all. Oh God. All right, there's that. Now you want to put a washer on, then using put this clip on right here and take a socket about the same size and just knock it on there now we're going to put the, put the socket on there knock it on there like that it's good to go all right guys in this next part we're going to replace these wheel bearings or they're actually pushing but they call them bearings you can usually just pull them out like that all it is is a See if you can see a piece of plastic all it is. The same thing for the other side. Just wiggle it and it comes right out. Now what you want to do, you want to clean out some of the old grease that's been in there. It's cleaned out a little bit. It's not that critical. Clean that out a little bit here. Now you want to take the new ones. You want to put a little bit of grease in there first. I said a little bit, but that's a whole lot. Uh, put that in there like that. Put some down in there. Stubborn. Down it down. I'm sure you got. I'm using way too much grease, but it's, uh, my theory is it's always good to have more than enough. Then not enough. Also, note after I put them bushings in real solid now and you gotta put a washer on here it's real easy to forget now you're gonna let's see if you can see it yeah that's fine you're just gonna slide it on there just like that and if you get too much grease in there like me you're gonna have all kinds of it coming off just clean it all up here real good okay and the last thing you need to do Grab your big washer right here, 
put it on there. It might be blurry. It's kind of hard to get the camera focused in on stuff like this. And you take your hitch clip. Well, actually, it had one of these in here, your cotter pin. I can't stand them things, so I'm putting one of these in. Put it in there like that. You're good to go. You're going to have a little bit of play in it like that, especially if your axle, your shaft is worn more. But other than that, it's good to go. Well, we'll catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.